three months, and then last night I got sick, so the vocals are going to suck. Pay attention to these guys. Yeah! 
guys have done so many drugs that you regret it. You're looking at somebody who's done so many drugs that they regret them. Don't be like me. If you haven't reached that point yet, and your friends are like, party more, don't listen to them. Follow your own mind. It sucks. This song was originally recorded by the dwarves. It's about getting fucked up and fucking you up because I want to steal all your goddamn drugs. Suckers. Yeah, shit. You expect me to do any more? Are you looking at me? Come on, you look like a smart young lady. Fuck that. You shouldn't have been like this guy. I think we're gonna make it past the first fucking song. <sighs> See, you hear that? It's not at the SEMA. It's not COPPV. It's called the $25 bill at Winter Stencil. Fuck yeah. You guys stoked from the rest of the lineup? Hell yeah. yeah. Genocide packed. Woo! Woo. Yeah. Fucking what, is Ric Flair walking through the building? Woo! Woo. Or she can't do that in Trump's America. That shit's fucked up. <sighs> you stoked from Primitive Band? Woo. You guys are stoked. They're back there, I don't know what they're doing. At least no one's on their phone, dude. This is actually pretty sick. What about Full of Hell? <laughs> fucking A, fucking A, fucking A. This here is a uh, vitamin. <sighs> so when I was a kid, it was looked down upon to be a metalhead or a hardcore kid or a punk rocker. And when uh, all of a sudden Metallica released an album in 1991, Everyone who made fun of me all of a sudden was one of them. And then later on, when death metal and hardcore and everything died in L.A. again, it was like all of a sudden Slipknot came out. Then all of a sudden the same jocks came in the scene. Started fucking everything up. Then I heard this fucking band that was saying, are you down with the sickness and all this bullshit. <laughs> and even though I try to... My vocals are actually... A little bit better if they're actually shitty too. But I decided because I love hip hop so much, I'm going to write a beef track against them. So actually, Common kind of Decapitation has this, the shortest song. We have the only known beef track in death metal. So this song goes out to those dudes, and they're down with the sickness shit. This song is called, hold on a second. Signature fibrosis is brought upon by the insertion of Twinkies in the urethral cabinet. <laughs>
guess what? You guys are stoked. We only got one more. Fuck, oh shit. Thanks for grabbing my cane. Oh, right. someone to break the sides. I'm looking at you, you're looking at me. Uh, we're actually supposed to play for a little bit longer, so I'm trying to like eat up some that time, but I want to do it too much. So There's Robin back there. What happened? You're so informative. Uh, actually, I'm a pretty big fucking book. There's plenty of chapters. And I won't let you down like Game of Thrones. <laughs> well, alright, alright, alright. So, in this world today, how many of you guys have heard of Church of the Eighth Day? The guy who does that is a fucking asshole. But he's always believed in uh, having a message and, you know, being all-inclusive ever since 1999 when it wasn't cool to be all-inclusive. And um, right now, there's a lot going on. We're in this influx where a lot of young people are tired of being bullied and they want to identify themselves as what they want to be known as, which is fucking awesome. But there's a lot of old ass dinosaurs, like me. We're like, what the fuck? You want to be known as a pigeon? Well, I'll meet you at the Hotel 402 and we'll do that then. But it's not, it's not about, a, a, you know, it's about figuring out how we're all going to live with each other right now. And a lot of the shit that's going on in the internet and in politics is trying to separate people. It's trying to make you either left or right. Farther this way, farther that way. You know what they're trying to do? Separate you. Because the middle is where humanity is. Where you really, it doesn't bother you if somebody wants to be a pigeon. It doesn't bother them if you want to be something else. Just remember, we all walk, we all bleed, we're all somebody. And usually when you're sitting there with somebody, you understand them a little bit more. Put down your phones a little bit more. Go out a little bit more. Live life a little bit more. Fuck the left. Fuck the right. Come to the middle. This is what this song has to do with. We wrote this song seven years ago. And it's kind of, kind of sucks. I mean, I have the World Trade Center fucking tattooed on my arm before the Trade Center came fucking down. I'm not a prophet. I'm just somebody who says, Come to the middle. It's a lot better there. That's where humanity lives. This song has to do with everybody who's going to try to push you either way. And at the end of the days, it doesn't come by Satan or Jesus or even that fucking president that we have. It's going to come down to your own decisions. <laughs> this song is called, We Knew the Cost and Finally We Will Pay the Price. <laughs>
Thank you so much for coming out early. Thank you for dealing with us. Support the rest of the bands. We love you. Remember, left or right, they're making it too simple for you because they want to control you. Thank you.